Okay, so I need to be careful while... I'm behind a barricade! How did that hit me? Hello everyone, welcome back. So, I am still continuing my playthrough of the Final Fantasy Stranger, Final Fantasy Origins Stranger of Paradise demo, which I, I have to say has been quite a bit more content than I was expecting it to have. Um, I'm still just playing on casual mode just because I'm checking it out, but Last time we left off, we went to a town to try and find some information about where the crystals might be, found out that the mayor was dead and that a pirate has taken over the town. So we fought with him and he has pointed us to a dark elf, which apparently has the information that we are actually looking for. And that's pretty much where we are. So let's continue with that. I have absolutely no idea how long this is actually still going to continue. Uh, just so far, it has been quite a bit more content than I was expecting. And I kind of like it because it kind of gives you the impression that the game itself must be really big if they're willing to give away four hours of content for free. And we're here. Best gird your loins. Hmm? How do we get back? Just focus on getting to Ostos with your head on your shoulders, you poor, poor sots. Let's loot this place clean. Time to go exploring. So kind of like I mentioned last time, it's like I... As much as I'm enjoying a lot of the content in this game, it just doesn't feel like the story and the narration and everything is up to scratch with other Final Fantasy games. So I've actually switched over to using the prefer performance rather than prefer resolution, uh, just because there were some points in the previous episodes that the game was a little janky. So I figured this might be a little bit more helpful to play this way. It's probably not going to look so good for it. Like that before? Castle like this? I bet that's not even the centerpiece. I've got a feeling that uh, it's probably not going to be as much fun for people watching on large screens. But for those watching on tablets or phones, you probably won't even notice a difference. Uh, for me... Time to go to work. Uh, why aren't you attacking? Oh, I accidentally changed the controls. I th didn't realize I saved. Okay, maybe let's just quickly fix that again. I specifically changed the controller settings because I didn't like much better right yeah there we go perfect okay so i am one of those weird people who really does not like using the shoulder buttons for attacks and there's a lot of games these days that you can't actually change that which is kind of annoying like, it just, it feels fine in a shooter. It just feels so weird in a, in melee combat to use those triggers for attacking. Maybe I just don't like the way that the stock PS4 controller feels. I don't know. No, don't let their looks fool you. They're pure darkness. And Come on. Oh, why is it not? There we go. Now. 
<laughs> oh wow, where did that come from? So I'm using the battle axe for the first time I picked it up from the previous fight with the pirate captain. So still trying to figure out exactly how it works. Seems like a lot of big heavy attacks, which is unsurprising given the type of weapon. Um, but it's like E, it is much slower even than the greatsword. So I might want to switch that to something else later. It kind of feels a little jank. That did the trick. Let's go. I bet this place is filled with secret rooms and hidden treasure. I wonder what riches the king of the dark elves is hoarding. Sneaky. Keep your eyes peeled, Jack. It's around here somewhere. Don't scream when it taps you on the shoulder. Right. That was rough. I can learn from this. Right, so I managed to pick up Death's Lament from whatever that thing was. But I'm guessing there's a few more of them. And I'm guessing that their attacks don't necessarily work being thrown back at them. Where did this guy go? There we go, okay. I'm not dead yet. Ooh. Okay, skeleton, kill it. Kill it with crystals. Dark. Interesting. Oh. That's all of them. Focus on how we can do better next time. What did that curse do to me, though? Uh. Come on. Come on. Follow me. Ooh. Uh, what's going on? This is the one. No. No. Block. Block. There we go. Okay, that looks much better. I'm picking up some more katanas, which I think might be a better weapon to use at the moment. Cool. Like, the combat in this game still is really interesting. It's still a lot of fun. You can definitely see some of the influences from a lot of the other... Um, Let's knock them down. Ooh. I actually wanted to try and catch that, but I just realized that I've got... There we go. Uh, whoa. What is that? Interesting. Doesn't look like I can go through it, though. Epic castle. Mansion? What what would this qualify as? A cathedral? Of horrors. Uh, this one looks locked as well. I can't do this for much longer. We should probably take it easy. Uh let's see, there should be another save point up here somewhere. Let's have a look. Perfect. So, probably a good time for me to just very quickly, yes, look at the job trees. Let's see, what can I change? Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that I can unlock. Uh, what do we have here? So, this is decreases MP cost. I maybe want to wait until I can do some of these others. Like, I haven't really been using this a lot. Uh, what's that? Break damage. 
Marauder Job Affinity and then Ground Pound. Uh, affinity decreases damage during attacks. Let's do that maybe and that. There we go. And then more Swordsman. What's this? Temporarily decreases the amount of time required to charge certain attacks and the likelihood of being staggered. And this is affinity slash damage. Blessing of light. New job, knight, new job, warrior. Can we any link? Jobs required swordsman Ronan. Play movie. So this is a fierce roar that damages enemies nearby. And this is temporarily causes a sh sh successful guards to unleash a shockwave. Oh, I need a guard for that though. Uh, what is this? Swordsman and Marauder. Not enough job points. But what does it do? Berserk increases attack. Huh. But potions cannot be used. I like that. I'm going to save up my points. I'm going to keep going with these two jobs that I have now. Uh, oh, wait. The other thing that I wanted to do while I was here was to battle settings, I believe, because I want to optimize equipment. And let's do that. for. So that should have already done it for Ash, for Neon, and for Jed, I think they all get upgraded at once. So she is a sword fighter. Oh, so I think the way that they... Do they change their class based on the affinity of the items that we give them? So if I give him more affinity to... Killer Titan Knuckles. Oh, he can't actually equip anything other than a pugil pugilist. Okay, so it doesn't actually matter. The only one that matters, it appears, is mine. Okay. Uh, and what can I do for combo abilities? Do I have anything special that I can equip here still? So far, everything is a raging slash. It is a raging slash. Uh, piercing thrust. Raging slash onslaught. Okay, oh, that is pretty much it. Thundering Blow, Upheaval. These are the only ones I have. But I can add Ground Pound here. Okay, cool. Uh, well, let's try that out and see what happens. Like, this feels way too early for... Uh, yeah, that looks hectic. I was thinking it's a little early for a boss fight. Oh man. Oof. Okay, so I need to be careful while... I'm behind a barricade! How did that hit me? I wonder if I can block that though in any way. Or if it's just a I need to run and hope for the best kind of a deal.
Um. Oof. Can I? I can just jump down here, and then I can just go over here. Woo! Oh, there was something. What was that? Look around. Is that the thing that's been attacking me the whole time? Oh, it's still shooting at me. Is it slowly but surely actually breaking down those walls? What's going on here? This kind of looks like where I want to go. Okay, healed up. Is this where I want to be? It's locked. Of course it is. Because that's just how everything works. I've got a massive axe though. Can't I just break the door down? Yes, let's stop the ballista. I think I'm going to try and run through a lot of these enemies and just... What are the chances I can just run through a lot of these and make my way to somewhere safe? Uh, where I can actually attack the ballista proper. Wow, that thing hit right next to me. Uh... Did I just knock him off? It seems I just kind of knocked him off the roof. Oh. Ow. Uh, okay. No, it seems they followed me. So, not quite as effective as I had hoped. Okay, so... What am I looking for? I'm looking for a way to take down the Ballista. How am I going to do that? Still very, very impressed with the level design of this game. Like, they... It feels like they did a lot... They put in a lot of effort. It... It's not overly linear, but it gives you, like, just just enough hints of where you should be going to do what you will need to do. Gives you a little bit of room of ex for exploration, which is always nice. Uh, is this where I'm supposed to? Oh, that thing looks creepy. Oh, ow! Ballista attacking. Uh, maybe I should have just gone up the tower? Because I think that's actually where the ballista is. Uh, that probably would have made things easier. Let's just check what's up here first. Can I go in here? Yes! And now, obviously, something here is going to be trapped. Which means I'm going to get hurt. I'm pretty sure. Or it was this just like a side quest special content, maybe? Dark crystal functions. Dark crystals are potent tools. Their powers. No, it's so quick. This thing scrolls so quick. Indispensable as it turns out uh, as residual memories of the past that link in this world have a tendency to distract engines. The dark crystal possess many subsidiary functions. They serve as a temporary storage device for lost memories. They also seem to attract memory fragments remaining from previous iterations. I would be a fool not to turn these crystals to my own ends. Ha! Huh. My lost little ducklings have forgotten which way the wind must blow. Interesting. So it, uh, it, it sounds like somebody is 
pulling our strings and possibly manipulating us. Trixie, Trixie. Whoop. Man, that thing hurts when it hits. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm about to take it down. Because I think that's where this building was telling me to go. Yep, stairs up. The music is really, really creepy. But doesn't quite actually sound like it fits in with, like, the part of the story that they're trying to tell now. Is there something down here? Secret, perhaps? No? No secret? Yes, secret. Uh, lots of enemies. Doesn't necessarily mean there's a secret here. That was quick. Oh. Uh, yeah, because it looks like if I jump down here, there's nothing else for me. So, let's try going back up first. I feel like maybe I'm heading off in the wrong direction. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of feel like maybe that's where I'm supposed to go next after I destroy it, that thing. Ooh, I need to get on that roof. Hmm. Game doesn't have a jump mechanic, so not really sure how to do that. Hopefully something leads me back this way. <gasps> no! That was stressful. Like, yes, like a ladder up. And it seems that I can do that to get away from the enemies. Is this where... Yes, that looks like the chest that I saw. And those weapons aren't as great as I was hoping. Okay. Oh, combat music still is good. Let's see, what do we have here? Nope. Ooh, paralysis. Not great. Okay, let's go, 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 go! I need to get to the end of this crazy story. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, apparently the Dark Elf... ...has got all these stories and legends about him and what he... Ooh, creepy room. This is that tower we saw. Time to explore. Warm welcome. Be ready for anything. Oof. Nope. Hello. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and ow, 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 ow. I don't know what that did, but it's not great. There we go. Death's Lament again. Whatever that is. Oh, so I can actually interrupt my attacks uh, to... Oh, he dodged it. I can interrupt attacks to do my uh, spirit thingy. Which is interesting. 
contained a tower key. Uh, but not for that door. So, I was not a massive fan of the more fast-paced melee combat of Final Fantasy XV. It eventually grew on me because I did quite oh, like... I didn't think we'd get through this way. Remember this for later. <laughs> I did quite enjoy the, uh, the weapon swapping mechanic quite a bit. Um, and like some of the strategy that came along with that. But overall, I kind of like... I'm one of those old school JRPG players that really still prefers turn-based combat because I like the strategy that goes with it uh, as I get older especially like I realize that a lot of people complain about it because it's slow paced but at the same time the older I get the less I feel like button mashing in like these kinds of melee games so it's it's kind of weird it's weird how these things evolve and it's weird how tastes differ Like, uh, Devil May Cry is, uh, used to be one of my favorite games ever. I absolutely loved the combat in that. But I find that these days, I just can't really take the same amount of time to get good in those games. It's like super gory. Like, why do I have this much blood on me? It seems so weird. And it's just kind of like randomly disappearing without me going through water or anything to clean myself off. Is the crystal drinking it? Jack's power is no joke. You think he might be the one? We need to make sure. Why not throw him at a badass monster? And I'd settle it quick. Interesting that Jed takes part in the conversation despite not being here. Oh, this kind of looks like a boss fight. Where's my save? Where's my save, Crystal? I see there we go. Over there. Should we check it out? Right, so let's just very quickly again, I am going to, oh, first of all, see if I have enough points in any of these to unlock, no, how many more points do I need? Oh, I, I need like two for that, another two for that, total job points needed seven. Yeah, that's... I'm, I'm not getting there anytime quick. Uh, I also probably need to use this job more. Because I won't level that job without doing it. Right? Yeah. Um, Dragoon and Berserker. Slancer Marauder. Oh, Dragoon is one of my favorite jobs ever. Maybe I should be aiming for that. Instead, I'm going to aim for that instead. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is uh, not job trees. That is the wrong place to go. Battle settings. So uh, I want to change battle set. No, no, no. Uh... Uh, that's optimizing equipment, change battle set, show affinity bonus. Time for a change. I keep forgetting where I can change these things. Last time it was just me being on the wrong menu item. There we go. Change job. So change swordsman. No, wait. Change from... X, change job from Swordsman to Lancer. Then, whoa, that is a huge Lance and a very weird and creepy outfit. 
Okay. So, uh, one of the other things I needed to check is if I have special combo abilities for this one. Yes. Let's see. Wild Thrust and Cyclone and Lance Hurl. Wild Thrust. Lance Hurl. Yeah. Okay, let's see how well that combo works. Let's level this thing so that I can work up to a Mroacha Dragoon job. Yes, I like it. I like it very much. There's no one here. Did Bicke lie to us? <clears throat> oh. No talking, just straight up attacking me. This thing is fast, and it hits hard. Ow. Woo! Take a few steps behind. We've had worse than this. Ow. That did not parry the way I thought it would. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Wow. What is that? What is that? Even... He seems quite dragoonish. Okay. Oh man. You gonna have another ranged attack for me? Nice. So, I'm just putting this out there again. It is sus that Jack can use the same crystal powers as Chaos. He's good. Better than good. Only Jack can fight like that. Glad to see he's back. <laughs> Took long enough. What? Oh. Hmm? Uh huh? Bravo, Jack. And a round of applause for Jed Ash. And Neon, of course. You know who we are? I'm a dark elf, you see. And we dark elves... Just tell us no about the crystals. That's all I want to know. <laughs> good, good. Those who are to forge the future mustn't be concerned with trivialities. Then cut to the chase. Mm. <laughs> oh. My castle is here. Make your way through this forest until you reach a tower. 
At its zenith, you will find the Wind Crystal. The journey will be perilous, but I suspect that doesn't come as a surprise. <laughs> Any questions? Just one. Is it true you made a deal with Chaos? No, but you will. Chaos. Darkness given form, given purpose. By its hand were the crystals extinguished, and only by its hand can they be restored. Of course, a deal with a monster commands a high price. Your very lives may be required as tender. <laughs> Is that funny? I just forgot what it's like to hear some good news for once. Mm. <laughs> Safe travels, Jack. So creepy. And also kind of familiar looking. I feel like maybe they the cute jobs for friends. What's that? I kind of feel like maybe they used another character. I want to say from Final Fantasy two as inspiration for that character design. Your meeting with Astos has unlocked your companion's memories. Ash can now select the monk job, Jed the thief job, and Neon the red mage job. Ooh, that's cool. Unlocking ally jobs. As you proceed, your allies will unlock jobs and you can select which job you want your allies to use in the battle setting screen. And you must purchase the full version of the game to continue playing. Finally, we have reached the end of the demo and it was only roughly four hours of gameplay. I gotta, I gotta admit, this game has surprised me quite a bit more than I uh, expected it to. And I think it says something about the game when they give away three, four, five hours of gameplay for free in a demo. So if you haven't tried it out yet, if you're still on the fence on whether this game is for you, I highly recommend trying out the demo. I mean, it doesn't cost anything just play it see if you like it me i am definitely adding this to my wish list i think i will definitely continue playing this game uh, especially since some of my progress can be carried over so with that i'm going to call it for the series i hope you enjoyed if i do play this game again with the full version i will most likely start from scratch because i'll probably play it on a higher difficulty level and i might now that I've understand the game mechanics a bit better, I might want to rethink some of my choices that I've made. But that's it. So I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. And I catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.